Hi, this is Jindo. Welcome to Tree Leaf. Today we are discussing the paramita of patience, which is something very close to my heart, because I'm going to tell you, naturally I'm anything but a patient person. And if you want confirmation of that, ask my wife, who's been hanging around me for the last 25 years. The reason I can sit here and talk Zen with you is because I know it is medicine for a lot of our rough edges as human beings. It certainly is in my life. And a lack of patience is something that I have been prone to, well, as long as I can remember. And this practice has allowed me just to sit, to be open to things, to allow, to wait, to be silent, to be still, to let life go the way it goes. It's a perfect medicine for an impatient son of a gun like me. You see, I'm the kind of guy who always wanted life to go a certain way, and if it didn't go that way, life. And I wanted it to do it now, when I wanted it. And if it didn't, well, life. But life early goes how and where we want it to go when we want it to do it. And so one of the perfections of a bodhisattva is the practice of patience. We sit we allow, we are open, we embrace, we do not resist, we do not shake our fist, but open our hands and allow it all to be. It's a very good practice when you're talking every day on this newfangled computer thingy that is constantly crashing, that never seems to work when you want it to work. Patience is excellent for an internet Zen teacher. But it's more than that. Actually, the computer just did something. Hold on a second. Speak of the devil. But it's perfect in this life where we live. You see, these days, there's a lot to be patient about. I spent a night in the hospital last week, nothing serious, but I certainly didn't want to be there. I had some place else I wanted to be, which was outside the hospital. But, you know, I just allowed it to be. There was no place else to be. I was patient. I was a patient patient with the situation. There's news every day, things in this world that we do not like, bad economic news. I've heard from at least two people this week who are in danger of losing their jobs. It's hard to tell people to be patient with that, but our practice tells us to be patient. Be patient. Doesn't mean you don't get the resumes out and try to get a new job. But at the same time, we practice patience. Patience on the move. Stillness in motion. That is the Zen way. We sit. We embrace. We allow. We accept. You know, my son, I have a six-year-old here. And uh, today he knocked something off the table. He was careless and smashed it all to pieces. Something I was a little bit attached to. First off, an excellent practice of non-attachment presented itself. Oh, it's gone. All things are impermanent. But also we need that parental mind as if all of life was a six-year-old child. You don't get mad at the child. You may scold the child. We may try to correct the child. But how does a parent treat a child who has made a mistake? Teaching him, of course, but with patience. Patience. We must be patient. 
open, allow, embrace, accept, go with the flow, be one with, don't resist, be in peace. It's the perfect medicine for impatient folks like me, maybe you too. Shall we sit with that? <laughs>